guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. Today I'm going ahead and I'm printing a big mask for DJ Marshmallow. Let me show you what it's looking at so far. Okay, as you see right now, it's about 26% complete. I am making it black for now because uh, I ran out of a white filament. So I'm gonna spray it white afterwards once it's done printing. So I'll keep showing you the progress of it and when it's completely final. So I'll keep you posted. Hey guys, so currently right now we're at 35%. As you see here, here are the eyes. It's coming out pretty smooth. I'm using a uh, 0.4 nozzle on this. A lot of people say to use a 0.6, but the nice thing about the 0.4 comes out pretty smooth and when I spray it white, everything should look perfectly even. So, I'll get back when it gets closer to like 60%. Okay, so here we're at, at 62%. As you see here are the two eyes and now it's starting to uh, create, close up that layer. This thing is pretty large, I'm not gonna lie. It's huge. All right, so we're at 86% right now. The eyes are finished. It started to work on the mouth here. You can see all the supports. Um, I had a little bit of a shift here on the supports. I should have had a little bit more. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it kind of shifted forward. I'll fix that later. I'll show you how you can fix that with a 3D pen. But it's almost there, 86%. So we'll see um, how much longer it's going to take to finish. All right, so we're at 93%. This is, you can see the happy face right here. So we're almost there. Can't wait for this to be done so I can take it out. We have finished at 100%. This thing is huge. I'm gonna go ahead, remove it, and see how it looks. All right guys, so I'm back. And remember I told you the supports broke off? These right here. I didn't have enough supports to put these pieces on. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna use a 3D pen to uh, to be able to put those pieces back on. So the 3D pen I'm currently using is called Mint 3D. This is what it looks like, Mint 3D. Okay, and what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna be putting the black filament on it. All right, so this is the pen. It's at 215 degrees right now. This is the speed. This is changing the degrees, and then this is forward and backwards. So currently right now, I'm about to put a black filament in here, okay? Okay, so this is how you do it. There's a little hole in here. You're gonna put the filament in there. There's a hole here, you're gonna put the filament in there, and then you're gonna press this button here to start feeding it. And you're going to keep pressing it until you have black coming out of here. So I'm pressing it right now. Going to push out all the white. And here's the black. What we're going to do is we're going to put Philip in here. Okay. And we're going to put that piece that broke off put it there, okay? And it's perfect, you see that? It's fine if there's a little bit of a gap, you can fill it in and then sand it. So, I'm gonna fill it in really quick. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna fill it in. This is the cool thing about having a 3D pen because this is how you fix things that went wrong on a print. Oops. 
So what do you think? So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna spray it all, I'm gonna sand the areas that are a little bit rough. Even down here you see they're pretty rough, so I'm gonna sand all this down. And then I'm gonna spray it with a filler. I'll show you how I do that. And then I might even go ahead and uh, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the filler, see how it looks, and if it looks good, I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it white. All right guys, so we're back here. I was able to go ahead and sand this down. I put this on a carousel in order for you to move it around. I have my spray booth and I have another video that I've explained how to build one. I have my fan on, ready to go, and this is the two-in-one filler and sandable. You can get this at AutoZone, Discount Auto Parts, or even Amazon. I cannot find this at Home Depot. Okay, I'll include a link for it. So I'm gonna spray it, see how it looks. If it doesn't look that great, then I'm gonna have to putty it up and sand it, and then respray it. So let's see how it goes. All right guys, so I went ahead, I sprayed it all down, but you see there's a lot of like um, imperfections. So what happened here is that uh, the printer shifted a little bit when it was printing. It was all smooth here, but for some reason here, it shifted and I think it has to do with the support that I had here that threw off the printer. So make sure you guys put the, the right supports. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to go ahead and cover the entire thing with this spot, uh, uh, spot putty. You can buy this at the um, Discount Auto Parts, Advanced Auto, and it's basically for body work. So you can use this and I'm going to go ahead and apply it on the whole thing. Once it's done and dry, I'm going to sand it off and it'll look perfectly smooth and then I'll just spray paint it. So here we go. All right guys, so I did the sanding process. As you see, it's pretty smooth right now. So I'm gonna spray it again. Um, I'm gonna use this other one, uh, two-in-one primer, filler, and sandable. And see how it comes out. If there's still any type of issues or anything like that, I'm just gonna slightly sand it and that's it. So let's see how it comes out. All right guys, so there was still a few cracks after I sprayed it. As you see here, I, I had to putty it again. So I'm gonna re-sand it, and then if there are no cracks after I'm done sanding it, then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with a first coat of white, and then I'll do a paint and a primer on it. 
Okay, so I went ahead and I sanded it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with white and see how it comes out. I got this flat paint right here. All right, so this uh, marshmallow, I wanna kinda give it like a texture. So what I did was I first sprayed it very heavy with the white, um, very, very, very heavy until the point that it was dripping. And then what I did was I used a roller and uh, I went around it very slowly. Okay, you see here the roller? I put it in a bag now because I might reuse it later. But I basically pulled it here and I rolled it and I slowly kind of gave it that a texture just because I wanted it to look a little bit more, a little bit more grungy. Um, the top I left nice and flat, as you can see. So basically what I'm gonna do, is just gonna let it sit here overnight, let it dry out. And then what I'll do is I'll spray the inside white. And then I'll show you how to add the mesh in here. Um, either with super glue or with a 3D pen, you can add the mesh and it'll look authentic. Alright guys, so I finished the mask, this is how it's looking, sprayed the inside, doesn't have to be perfect. So what I did is I went ahead and I got uh, some foam board, uh, you can get it at Walmart or Amazon, and basically I traced the bottom of the helmet completely around, and then I cut it. And as you see there, I need to trim it a little bit more. And then this is the mesh I also got. I got this at Walmart. Um, it's a 97 cents a yard. Uh, they didn't have the color I needed, so I spray painted it black. And that's the mesh that I'm gonna put here behind the eyes. Uh, another thing is that in order to cut this foam, I suggest for you to get like this this one, this type of uh, razor blade because it's long enough and it actually goes all the way through so it's easier to cut. Scissors don't work too well, I'm gonna be honest. And then if you are gonna cut this type of material, make sure that you have one of these cutting boards or something to cut on top so you don't damage your table. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down a little bit more and then I'll show you how to put it on. All right, so I decided really not to cut it. Um, I was able to just push it in there and it went in there pretty snug. Okay, so now when I put it on, my eyes are actually, I can kind of see before my eyes were like up here. So the padding helped actually lower my vision. But what I need to do is I need to add some padding on the side. So it kind of stays a little bit snug. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more of the foam and see how that works out. Okay, so what I did is I cut a, a long strip and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and just place it in here. Okay, just give me one second. Okay, so I placed it in here. Okay, you can add a little bit of hot glue in here if you want. Um, just be careful not to add too much because it will melt the filament. Um, I'll probably just add a tap just to kind of hold it back a little bit. So let me show you how much better it, it, it goes in. Okay, so you can see now the padding that's there. <clears throat> if you wanted to cut a little bit, you know, maybe for your ears or whatnot, you can do that. But let me go ahead now and show you how to add that mesh and see how it comes out. So remember the mesh I told you about? We're gonna go ahead and add it in here.
All right, so I ended up using the hot glue gun and I added it to basically across the board here, around the eyes, around the mouth, um, to keep that mesh from moving. Now I just have to kind of remove that little bit of the spider web that's left from the glue gun. Um, all right, let's see how it looks when I put it on. I'm gonna put the, uh, the foam back in here and see how it looks. So the mesh is in here. So the mesh is in here. Um, basically, I'm gonna have to add another layer of it so it could be a little bit darker so you don't see my eyes as much, but. Let's see how it goes. All right, so I went to the dollar store and I got myself some pantyhose and I cut it up and then I'm gonna put it in here, see how it goes. All right, so I ended up getting these pantyhoses, and what I did is I added it for the eye section. I kept the original mesh, and then I put the pantyhose in the back, and it does help with people actually seeing my face. Um, I'll show you kind of how I did it. Um, I basically hot glue gun it in here. Um, it doesn't look as clean as I wanted it to, because it's hard to work with pantyhose. But as you see, um, everything's in here, and then I'll show you how it looks on me. Okay, so basically this is what it's looking like right now. You can kind of see a little bit of me because there's a lot of light on me. But, you know, when you're out there at nighttime and stuff like that, nobody's really gonna see you. But it does help like during the day situation. Well, thanks for watching the Vera Projects. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.